Good morning. I'm forecaster Mark Spencer from NeoWeather.com. It's Martin Luther King Jr. Day, January 18th, 2016, and we are tracking some lake effect snow across much of the area. We have two bands really going right now. They're very close to each other. We have one band going right here, and then we have another band going right here. So the one is basically cutting through western Lake County into northern Geauga, and the other one's coming through pretty much the central portion of Lake County, Menor, Painesville area, into the uh, far northern reaches of Geauga County, and also into west central Ashtabula County. We also have some snow coming on shore here now up towards Ashtabula. That band's a little smaller, and even some light snow moving across portions of Lorraine and Medina counties this morning. That's not going to be very significant. That's just a, a flurries or a light snow shower moving through very quickly. Otherwise, the real story is all the lake effect right now. Let's zoom in here and take a look at uh, what communities are affected right now. And we're looking anywhere at Euclid, Mentor, Painesville, uh, Willoughby, all the way to Chardon, down to East Clarendon, and even Chesterland, Kirtland Hills, and then up towards Perry. And Madison's kind of in a break. Geneva is pretty much where it jo drops off here. And then as you get in, again get up towards Ashtabula and Conneaut, that's where the snow is, and also into North Kingsville. Uh, a little further inland right now, not too much. Uh, right, not, right now, not too much coming down in Andover. Light snowed towards Roaming Shores and Orwell. And even just south of... Uh, 322 here things really lighten up pretty quick uh, downtown cleveland not too bad light snow showers this morning uh, but nothing of any real significant the east side this little blurb right here that's stationary so that's a false return um, it's just pretty much light snow 271 corridor in towards gates mills beechwood solon at the moment nothing too bad but at times you could see a little bit more snow move in here and there Currently in downtown Cleveland, it's a balmy six degrees, folks, six degrees with light snow. Winds are out of the west southwest around 20 miles an hour. That's creating a wind chill of minus 14. So very chilly as you head out the door. You're going to want to bundle up. You don't really want to spend an extended period of time outside in these wind chills. Uh, hypothermia does start setting in very quickly. So limit your time outdoors. Temperatures across the rest of the area, still very chilly. We're in the single digits everywhere. We range from uh, two at Mansfield up to about eight at Menor and Ashtabula. Otherwise, everything's four, five, six degrees in between. The wind chills here in pink, very, very cold. Anywhere from roughly minus 10 to minus 15 across much of the area. Dover, New Philadelphia, not quite as windy down there. So your wind chills only minus four, but still you're gonna wanna bundle up as you head out the door. Very, very chilly out there indeed. Our future cast, I'm gonna take a look at this snow moving through. You can see the band kind of waver later this afternoon. And then this tonight, it starts resetting back up again as winds become more favorable. Then it's gonna push a little bit inland before tapering off Tuesday morning. Right about eight, nine o'clock, it tapers off. And we don't really have much left here, which is good. This is drier air moving into the area. Quite a bit of snow, though, between now and then is expected. How much are we looking at here? Well, we're looking at uh, anywhere from about four inches in Cleveland, right around seven to eight in Euclid, Chardon, 10 inches of snow. Now, northern Geauga County, being in the higher ground, anywhere from 10 to 12 inches of snow. Wouldn't be surprised if someone woke up with just over a foot come Tuesday morning. Manor, right around 6 to 7 inches. Ashtabula, you're kind of the wild card here, right around 6. Andover, right along the border here. Andover and even um, uh, Pierpont, right along the border here with Ohio and Pennsylvania. We could see a little bit more snow develop. I don't have it depicted here because it's such a small area. So Andover, 8, maybe 9 inches for you. Outside of that, you can see everything drops off quite a bit. Maybe an inch for Warren and just a little bit beyond that. Outside of this today, you're looking at mainly cloudy skies. You'll probably see a few peaks of sun around Akron, Medina, even Wellington perhaps, but a very cold day. Again, wind chills will range from minus 10 to minus 15. We do have a lake effect snow warning for Lake Geauga and Ashtabula until noon tomorrow and a lake effect snow advisory for Cuyahoga County until four o'clock today. Our seven day forecast, again, we have lake effect snow here for today, a high of about 11. We drop down to about four tonight. Wind chills will be very chilly. Morning lake effect for your Tuesday with a high of 17. And then we get another little system moving through on Wednesday. 
Not a huge significance, but we could see a couple inches here. Stay tuned for the latest afternoon and evening snow showers on Wednesday, the high at 25. Partly cloudy, dry for your Thursday, 28. We do warm up a little bit Friday. We are tracking a uh, potentially significant snowmaker for us. Stay tuned for the latest. Lots of details to be worked out here Friday, Friday night, and into early Saturday. Uh, so many things can change between now and then. You can count on us to keep you updated. Morning snow Saturday, the high of 29. Sunday looking partly cloudy, a little warmer, and 33. Stay with NeoWeather.com for the very latest.